Today I'll be explaining how to reinstall the chain brake cover to a once, uh, I'm sorry, S160 chainsaw. It's a 16 inch blade. Basically what you have to do to begin with, you have to ensure that the flywheel, I'm probably calling it wrong, this is what I call it, the flywheel brake inside of the chain brake cover, chain brake lever cover is off. And this would be the off position. You can also, this would be the position of the lever as well as the plastic stop that comes up when the brake is on. But as it sits right now, it is in the brake off position. The one thing you have to do, and this was my rookie mistake when I first was trying to put this cover on, I couldn't understand there was a pin that goes in this hole that aligns the blade itself to the chainsaw. And when looking at this, I have to adjust this pin that goes in this hole. And when you have that in place, then you can adjust your chain and the blade as required. To adjust or move this pin on the other side of the cover, there's a screw set that turns it and you can see by the arrows, whether clockwise or counterclockwise, tightening or loosening the chain. So what I'll go ahead and do first is I'll move this pin so it aligns with this hole. I'll put the cover back on with the chain brake off and it should all fit in alignment and I'll be back on at that time to show what the chainsaw should look like at that point. Okay, okay as you can see, I've move the adjustment pin from full dead stop to the middle and hopefully looking at the retaining bolts that this pole and you can see where I was trying to get initially where it's been scratched on the surface is more aligned and I might be able to just drop this cover on. So again uh, you'll next see me with the, hopefully, the cover in position, the pin in place with the alignment hole, and everything good to go. As you can see, I still haven't aligned up the pin with the hole on the blade. It looks like it still has approximately about a half inch to go. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to leave the cover in place. I'm going to go to the... Uh, chain tensioner screw and move that pin so it actually falls down to where that hole is and falls in place. And that should see it and I'll show you what it finally looks when I'm all done. As you can see the pin is aligned up with the hole and if it is I should be able to just push this right on. Sorry for uh, bouncing around. It's, I'm holding the phone with one hand while I try to push it in. And there you go. Now all I have to do is add the nuts to the bolts, tighten it up. And that should do it. Sorry for the uh, bouncing around on this last segment, but uh, unfortunately, as I said, I only have one hand to try to accomplish everything while I hold the phone with the other. Again, thanks for watching the do-it-yourself backyard mechanic. Thank you.